Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see how to configure and validate exclusions for Microsoft Defender for Endpoint on Linux. So there are some supported exclusion scopes, there are some supported exclusion uh, types that you should be aware of through Microsoft documentations and I will tell you how to configure the list of exclusions. You can do it through uh, using the ma management console. If you're using the deployment from Puppet, Ansible or any other management console. But if you had to use, you want to use the command line. So I will connect to my Linux VM, which is onboarded onto the Defender and show you how it's done. All right, I'm connected to my Ubuntu one VM. All right. Okay, this is this VM which is onboarded to Defender. Ubuntu VM1 and same I am connected here. So what I'll do, I'll type in MDATP exclusion. expected one of the extension file folder list or processes right so i want to add an exclusion for a file extension okay so i'll do mda tp exclusion extension add name txt here it says extension exclusion configured successfully okay now if you want to add or remove an exclusion for a file now file path should already be present in case of adding or removing exclusion within global scope. So if I try this MDA TP exclusion file add path under var folder log But it should be present at this location. Otherwise, it would not work. So it was present. It says file exclusion configured successfully. Now, if you want to add or remove the exclusion from a folder, you can do that as well. So I will use MDATP. exclusion folder now I'm removing the exclusion path log scope app scope global or EPP I'm sorry I added APP new setting value is the same as the the exclusion is already removed now if you want to add an, an exclusion for a second folder So I will do MDA TP exclusion folder add 
path var log scope epp i need to do this folder exclusion can configured successfully now i want to do it on the second folder as well path global it is also configured successfully now if you want to add an exclusion for a folder with a wildcard in it wildcards are not supported while configuring global exclusions so you should try this md md atp exclusion folder add path var wildcard tmp it is also configured successfully so this will only exclude paths under the var star temp but not folders which are siblings of temp for example var uh, this folder slash temp where this subfolder dash log you can also add an exclusion for a process mdatp exclusion process add name user bin global for name okay and if you want to validate exclusions list with the eicar test file now you can validate that your exclusion lists are working by using curl to download a test file now if i'll do if i've configured the exclusions correctly right i will test it https secure eicar dot org dot com dot txt if defender for endpoint on linux reports malware then the rule is not working if there is no report of malware and the download file exist then the exclusion is working right so we can open the file to confirm that the contents are the same as what is described on this website and in addition to excluding certain content from being scanned you can also configure the product not to detect some classes of threats identified by the threat name so you should be very cautious using this functionality as it can leave your device unprotected so to add a threat name to the allowed list allowed list you can use this command
allowed at name and then you can add a threat name so now the threat name associated with the detection on your device can be obtained using mdatp space threat space list command so you will say ei car test file not a virus threat allowed successfully okay so this is how the exclusions or i would say allowing the threats so that it does not does not get scanned works i hope this was informational for all of you guys if you have any further queries Please mention them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.